I'm talking they about my fucking <laughs> air conditioning. And you have these things. Are they open? Can I can we go in here? I've never stopped by. I've can always we see it? Bro, I'm we're going to my hotel. We're getting the Miata and we're coming back here. Like now. <laughs> what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing something pretty cool. Currently down in Naples, Florida. And a good friend of mine was showing me around and he took me to like a whole bunch of different scenic places, showed me like the big houses, he took me to an exotic car dealership. But it wasn't until he brought me to a dealership that actually sells cars from Japan. I fucking love these, bro. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> which, one, which one are you taking? <laughs> so they import them, have them titled, and they are a dealership with Japanese cars. And primarily, I think they're only doing Nissans. They had a few other cars in there. They had a Subaru in there. They had a Honda NSX. And yes, I said Honda, not Acura, because it's from Japan. And they had a few cool things in there. So I was talking to them yesterday and they seemed pretty cool. So today I'm actually just going to go to the shop and show you what it is they have going on there. And I wanted to get some more videos and stuff, but because my friend was showing me around, I didn't actually have any of my equipment on me except for this camera. So today I'm gonna go a little bit harder with the video in there and hopefully they'll be willing to show us around and you guys will be able to see what it is that they have actually going on there. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I am outside CS Craft Sports. Uh, I was here yesterday and they were just showing us around, telling us, you know, what this place is and what they do. I'm gonna go inside and have them explain it to you a little better. But my main purpose for being here is because I thought it would be really cool to get some videos of all the cars that are in here. I figured you guys would also appreciate this as well. So I'm gonna go inside, they're gonna explain who they are, what they do, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of B-roll of all the awesome cars that they have inside. All right, so I am inside CS Craft and here with me I have Logan. Uh, we don't actually know his official position here. We just know that he works here. <laughs> <laughs> but Logan's going to tell us a little bit about what this place is and what we do here. Um, Craft Sports is the largest GTR specialty shop over in Japan. The owner landed in Naples, Florida and thought this would be a great location for a second dealership. So we don't work like other importers. We're a full-blown dealership here, just like our dealership in Japan. So what makes you different from like people that import cars here? Well, the big thing that makes us different is the fact that we have the cars physically here in the U.S. where you can come stop by and compare and contrast and really get up close with each of our skylines. You guys only do Nissans? Or so like... we specialize in GTRs, and I believe over at the Japanese branch, that's all we sell. So the Subarus, the Hondas, we had a Toyota Supra here. That would be something we would send to the U.S. branch where we would sell here in the U.S. So what's the deal with this NSX back here? So that's, this is that, a very It's not a Nissan. It is a Honda, so it isn't even an Acura. It's right-hand drive. It is a numbered car. There's only 105 of these models produced. This is car 93 of that 105. It was produced at the Honda Tochigi factory. It is a custom order car. It has a full custom interior from factory, including the carbon inserts. So I'm actually a big fan of the NSX. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember i don't even think it's been on my channel but a friend of mine actually had a black one but it's an acura it wasn't a honda it was left hand drive uh, but nonetheless it's still a pretty cool car to drive still a pretty cool car to own and these guys have a pretty rare one in their shop nsx key got your custom made plaque there and then the nsx custom so these badges are proof of them being part of that limited edition yeah. lineup. So like it says which number this is yes. out of a 105. So this is number 93 out of 105, 105. right? So I want to ask you about this one here because I remember yesterday you were, you were telling me there's a whole bunch of fancy stuff about this one that sounded really cool, but I'm not, I'm not the most familiar with Nissans and GTRs. I'm more Miatas and you know, tiny cars like that. So. Like what, what's so special about this one and why does it go for what it should be going for? Start off, it has, it's the highly desirable midnight purple. Um, I believe it was the third most produced color for the 33. 
However, it's just super sought after and that's why it's so uh, valued so high. Um, it also has gold badging from factory. They're not painted and then put it on. It has the full Nismo Aero kit, which just makes the car so much more aggressive. It's also a V-Spec and has the LMGT1 wheels on top of only having about 26,000 original miles. What do you think the value on it would be? So I believe a midnight purple, higher mileage, the exact same car essentially, but without being a V-Spec, sold for 200 or 250,000 at auction. So the fact that this is a V-Spec and has lower mileage, um, I don't know what it would be priced at. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, wow, that's, that's amazing. I know, I like, I never know what to value these cars at because yeah, it's just that, like they just keep going up too. You never know. How many kilometers are on this one? It has about twenty six thousand miles, so in the forties. Okay, I got gotcha. you. What about these two things right here? <laughs> just, I just like, what are they? So they, these are Skyline R31 GTSRs. They never made a GTR model for the R31, so this was the equivalent. There was only about 800 ever produced, obviously a lot less now, and we have two of them in our showroom. They are running the RB20 DETR. So the GTS over there is a RB20 Turbo, and then this is the RB20 Turbo R. So that's just a GTS, and this is a GTSR? Yes. Gotcha. This showroom apparently is empty. Not empty, but apparently they have a lot more cars here. So like on average, what like does it normally look like? Cause you, you, well, where you we're said standing, this whole there's row. Usually a car. Yeah. There's a whole nother row here. Um, we've moved them around to kind of showcase and I guess fill up the showroom instead of having them more economically placed mm -hmm. it's a little little bit more filled looking but generally we have double the cars in here wow this one out front here so that is a r33 gtr but with the tommy kyra aero kit thrown at it okay so this is just a standard r33 gtr but th with tommy kyra um aero kit on it obviously all the original badging carbon fiber from the mid 90s i mean <laughs> that's hard to come by or, and so it, tommy kyra you could either get a tune or an aero kit or both um this car specifically only has the aero kit it does not have the tune on it um but it's still very unique and highly sought after for collectors nonetheless the carbon wing um the side skirts i believe the wheels as well um and then the front bumper with the Tommy Kyra badging as well. Oh, wow, I didn't even peep that. That's pretty cool. It does not have the interior um, either, and that was another option you could throw it on. However, the Type R over here has everything done to it. So the interior, the exterior, as well as the tune. So the interior on that was supposed to be the same as this? No, so or, this is a 32. No. I, don't, I don't actually know what the 33 Tommy Kyra interior looks like. Okay. As you can see. Um, oh, Tommy this is Kyra. another Tommy Kyra. Oh, yeah, this shit. Is this is but this is a 32. R. Yes. So, oh, okay. Uh, see how the bumpers... Um, where's there's not another 32? So, 32 has the bars across here, whereas this looks more like a 33. Right. Okay, because it's got the... So, it has the all mesh. the original Tommy Kyra badging, which is extremely rare. And it also... The wheels aren't original. It has the Nismo side skirts, which I don't know if that was just put on with the Tommy Kyra. And then you come around back here and you have this really cool Tommy Kyra gurney flap, which I think is the coolest part of the car. And the badge right there. The engine bay is really cool too because it says Tommy Kyra on top of the RB26. Is it open? Um, no, but I can get the keys. Oh, wow. It says it right there. Oh, uh, okay. The Tommy Kyra's, um, the vehicle was finished and then it was sent off to Tommy Kyra themselves where it would be, get the Whatever arrow, get the tune. It, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so like, if you, let's say you bought one brand new back in whatever year this came out. You had to actually be like, okay, I want the Tommy Kyra one. So you buy it and then send it over. I think it was sent over by Nissan prior. So they would have like oh, three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then okay, you would just buy you. a Tommy Kyra R32. Okay, yeah. That makes a lot more sense. 
cool is you see the Autec logo on the wheels, and then it's also on the steering wheel, and then they actually painted it on the front bumper as well. It's it's looking a little. It looks strange, right? A little empty over there. I don't, I don't know what's missing, but but something's missing. Olive, the olive green, just like the exterior and the wheels, and then tuned by Autec. Now, this is pretty cool, though. Like I I would I would 100% daily this. And it's automatic? Oh, this is, I would 100% daily this. How much do you guys want for this? <laughs> this is actually really cool. No, it's, it's a special car. If any of you guys want a cool Japanese car and you want to come to a dealership uh, that has them showcased for you to check them out and compare because a lot of people that import cars don't really do this, so this is like a really cool thing. Uh, come down to CS Craft Sport. I was gonna say I was gonna say racing. Well, I was like, no, 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 CS Craft Sports. Come down to CS Craft Sports down here in Naples, Florida. Uh, as you can see behind me, they have a, a whole bunch of GTRs and Skylines and and NSX. Really quick, what's this thing in the corner? Because a friend of mine was asking me about that. It's, it's is, a, that, is that is that out, out of your game? It is a it's a Treno, but it's a, essentially a front wheel drive Treno. So it's the next generation of Corolla. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Cool. All right, so there you guys have it. That was an inside look at CS Craft Sport. I want to give them a huge thank you for allowing me to bring my camera in and get shots of all the really cool cars they have inside. As you saw inside, they primarily sell Skylines. They do have a few other cars. The only thing I can say is keep up to date with their inventory because they, they keep an inventory. Uh, I'm pretty sure they don't actually import cars for you. I'm pretty sure they just hold an inventory. If you guys have any questions, by all means, I encourage you to contact them. I know a lot of people are looking for these cars. These are very sought after cars. So if you're looking for a GTR, GTS, any kind of Skyline, hit up CS Craft because they have a whole bunch of them in stock. And to be honest, I can't see a lot of these lasting here very long. So guys, that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, which of these cars that were showcased would you drive? Now, he didn't actually show us all of them, uh, but I did get B-roll of most of the cars that were in there. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what of these cars would you guys like to have? Let me know, let's talk about it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.